Good morning everyone, it's Saturday morning and I'm starting my vlog today. As you can see, I am still in my giant uh, t-shirt, <laughs> red t-shirt, um, right now still, which I used as a pyjama. It's Falco's t-shirt, but he never really uses red color, so um, I took it over and now it is making perfect loose uh, sleepwear for me. Another reason why I'm sleeping in Falco's um, t-shirts is that I don't have any winter uh, pyjama and I think that has to be solved as well. Um, another thing which would make perfect uh, Christmas gifts. I was looking around and I think Intimissimi has a few um, lovely checked um, options which I am really really loving and they are not that expensive either. Actually to be very honest I wanted to start the morning a lot earlier than now but uh, I <laughs> got hooked up on Emily in Paris um, series last night and could not stop watching it. Smoking is a pleasure and without pleasure. Who are we? German. I was watching like until 3 a.m. I think um, and there is just one more episode left. Bear in mind that I started to watch it yesterday. I know it's just a little bit superficial but um, very very lovely approach, very funny and um, well has a focus on Paris and fashion so what could go wrong, right? Later on, I fell asleep, barely, and um, in half an hour time I woke up because I felt like I was falling out of bed. Um, do you know the feeling? I realized I was almost really falling out of the bed because Jamesy was taking over the entire space in my bed. I'm gonna insert a picture to show you how he was sleeping over there. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's what happens as well. Somehow they choose to sleep with me at night instead of Falgo because probably Falgo like moves around very really lot in the bed and they don't really like it but it doesn't make it better for me because we don't have any space in bed anymore and we don't even have yet kids but we have fur kids talking about the outfit of the day i went with a convenient very comfortable option for the bottom this is like straight legged uh, jeans from mango um, and I really love this one, especially when paired with something exciting like this on the top, so sort of boring, but balances out this um, beautiful, beautiful uh, body, which I have from Reformation. I have this one already a few years long. I remember when I first saw this on Chiara Ferrangi a few years ago, and I got so, so overwhelmed with it. I needed to have it, so I went ahead and bought it. Came from USA and I remember it came with 70 US dollar tax, which was not expected. Anyhow, I'm still glad that I own it. It's not something which you wear on like everyday basis, but some days, like today, when you feel like it, it's very, very beautiful in my opinion. So, Meanwhile, Falco was very, very diligent and has already put up the stocking station for the new vacuum cleaner, which I unboxed in my previous uh, vlog. Uh, we got it in collaboration with Cat Channel and we are absolutely loving it. Our old one, um, which we still have, by the way, here, and are planning to just gift away or sell on eBay, is so, so loud. And in comparison to that, this one has also many different fronts, which you can exchange very easily. Um, also, it has this beautiful display and it's also not very heavy um, and you don't have to constantly like bend down like with this old one, which was just a hand vacuum cleaner. And essentially, it was supposed to be used only for textiles and maybe couch, but I was using it constantly in this area because that's what I was meaning last time when you have cats and obviously you have um, cat litter at home and it always sprays throughout the corridor and having a good, good vacuum cleaner is a must. So it makes sense as well that we put it up here. Um, anyhow, um, the one load of washing is um, currently being done and another one is waiting here. But uh, first things first, I need to wash my face first of all. I do some skincare, prepare a smoothie and can then get ready because I'm planning to go to the city today. I don't know if I mentioned but um, my holidays already started so I have like two weeks off and I have the luxury of doing all what I want to do uh, right now um, and um, enjoy it to the fullest. Thank you. 
princess, when you're sitting here, how should I do my makeup? Huh? Do you have any suggestion? Or is this your stool now? May I sit together with you? What do you say? Mimi, slightly on the side. Okay, you can sit with me on my lips while I do the makeup. So I was very curious how much I weigh. It's been really a while that I weighed myself up. I think last time when I did that, I was about 45 kilo, but uh, I've been exercising pretty decent amount, like three times a week minimum, um, or more. So I was wondering if it brought any extra weight in terms of like some muscles, and because I had literally none before that. I feel like super dry on my skin. I don't know if my perioral dermatitis is once again coming out because I have like these red areas around my mouth and it's a flaky and has like a lot of dead skin cells. So I'm really careful with the skincare that I'm using. I brought it to bare minimum. And when it comes to like makeup, I'm also trying not to use that much foundation. Today I used once again the stick foundation, but powder foundations do a lot better in such cases. This is my Hula bronzer. Which I've been using like five years now and I'm still of the opinion that this is one of the best ones on the market. Talking about the bronzer, um, I really really want to try some new Charlotte Tilbury makeup items. I was about to buy the calendar but it was 170 euros um, and looking at the items most of them were obviously like travel size. Um, the way it is mostly in the calendars, um, advent calendars, so I decided against it. Also it had included the lipstick and the lip cheat in pillow talk color and as I already have um, lipstick in pillow talk, um, I thought it would be waste of money. I decided to move the camera around because I realized that it was cutting off half of my face while standing there. It's just the, in, even in this distance, like half meter, I don't really see like very sharp what is there on the viewfinder so I have to always come close and check it check it out. Let's put a little bit of Clarins powder on my neck area because I feel like that in winter especially it always looks a lot whiter than my face and I really don't like that look. Talking about Charlotte Tilbury my absolute favorite um brow lift pencil can you see that how much more definition it gives to the face it's just a little touch you just feel in the brows i think we georgians are lucky uh, generally caucasians to have really big brows on the face so we don't have to like tattoo it also the shop of eileen könig is opening today on the colonnade and I cannot decide if I should go there or not. I really, really love her line. It's so simplistic, um, but it costs as well quite a lot. I think that's one reason why, why I'm discussing, having an inner discussion, um, if it's a good idea to go there or not, because I don't really want to spend um, any money, and once I'm there, I might, might be tempted. Let's put a little bit of blush over here. Highlight and then that's it this one is by Ilya and I really love this peachy blush it blends out so beautifully and naturally makes my cheekbones look so um, high and beautiful <laughs> more defined by the way I got new concealer from Max Factor once again um, that's one of the high street makeup brands which I really love. I'm gonna tell you the truth why I bought it. One morning I forgot to apply it and then I was on the way. I still had to buy tights because I was not wearing tights either. Um, it was pretty cold so um, <laughs> I went into the DM. It's a store where you can get tights when you're on the go um, and in a hurry. So um, when I went in there I saw that um, there was a Max Factor stand as well and I don't know, I just got it. Didn't want to look like with having 
black under eye areas all day long. I was going to the meeting um, in a ministry. Um, yeah, so that's how it happened. Now, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow as well. I think I'm gonna apply this Ilia palette. Mm, what are we gonna do? Let's mix this with a little bit of brown over here. Let's do the very subtle lip, lip color because the top is so revealing. I don't want it to look like I went overboard with the makeup. Some finishing touches and we are good to go. Ooh, what did I forget? The highlight. I was standing here like looking at myself. Where is my highlight? Where is my glow? So let's add that quickly. Only complaint that I have with this Ilia highlight is that it dries quickly and then stays like a shimmer on your face. Which is my second favorite. My first favorite is still the Tom Ford Sculpt and Illuminating Duo. A little bit under the bra area as well. I feel like that with highlighter it often goes down to like good blending in. Mm. Glowy. Look at that. Look at that glow. I really love it. So now we are ready to prepare the smoothie and drink it. It's almost noon, guys. It takes me forever. You tell me what is wrong with this cat, either sitting in the closet or in the kitchen drawers. Today we are doing um, pizza on our own from scratch on with dough I mean we were always buying the dough and then topping it up on our own but when it comes to like preparing from the beginning like from dough itself we did it once Hulk was not very satisfied with uh, the previous attempt I really liked it I don't know um, this time he used new recipe for the dough which uh, came in this booklet this one came together with uh, the stone, pizza stone, which we are going to be using when grilling it. So yeah, it's already stretched as you can see. And the tomato sauce is getting ready as well. sleep flower that is how a uh, filming vlog goes for me I have to translate every word which I know in German but don't know the corresponding translation in English anyhow I was checking um, the 
different sorts of uh, flour which they mix for the pizza dough it's like white flour fine version together with non-slip one with a little bit of warm water yeast olive oil a little bit of sugar and salt and to mix it all together obviously Coming back to you on Sunday noon already, I am in my sportwear because I want to get done with this first of all um, before I get ready and film what I got yesterday. I'm super excited, I have not even unboxed it because I wanted to include it in the video. When I came back yesterday it was pretty late and then it was already time for dinner, we straight away went ahead and cooked some um, delicious, absolutely delicious salmon with vegetables. I'm gonna include some snippets right here because it was so brilliant. It's one of my favorites now. I don't know why we never really tried it, um, even though it was all the time in the cookbook. Um, maybe we're just too lazy to cut all this uh, different vegetables and prepare the uh, sauce, which was a mix of some butter, um, herbs and um, white wine mix. Um, I don't remember if I'm missing something right now, but you're gonna see on the throughout like snippets which I'm gonna insert here. Um, then you put it all together and uh, cook it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. It was so delicious. I was like giving all these pleasure sounds while eating it. As for doing the sports, I feel very very lazy. I have to admit that, and it took me quite a while to convince myself today to get into this outfit. This is the first step to mentally prepare myself um, and commit to the idea that I'm gonna do it because it's sort of really bad feeling if you change it again knowing you have not done what you promised yourself you would do. So yeah and also another point is that when I feel as lazy as I do right now I try to listen to my brain which tells me that I have to push against this thought of like postponing it because I know that I'm gonna feel a lot more energized and happier and like myself um, if I do it rather than just being a couch potato all day long feeling sluggish down and demotivated also a bit guilty um, so yeah just a little bit of motivation for you as well if you are struggling. And the outfit over here um, is very simple, like all the other times as well. The top is from um, H&M Sport Selection. I have it in different colors. And the shorts I got from Amazon. I really love this one. It's super tight and short and makes you feel like, I don't know, that you've got curves going on. Um, also this high waist area is supporting this like arch on the back um, which is I think very pretty. Shoes are from Nike and they are very very old. Um, to be very honest I really want to change those because I don't stand for the color and I don't think that it makes me feel good in terms of looks but it's very comfortable. The items which I'm going to be showing you right now are the makeup items and I wanted to swatch it or apply it directly so that you can see. It would be good to create a little bit of base even though it's Sunday and usually would not have applied a makeup. I think it always looks a lot better when it's layered up. So I have my makeup on without mascara and anything on my eyes because 
we're gonna get into that just now um have my two little packages over here as you can see this one is from Alster House. I went to the Charlotte Tilbury um, stand, so that's the only stand we have in Hamburg here. So I always prefer to go there and test. Sometimes I test there and if I have like some discount codes online, I still order it online. But I felt like buying something. I really made long, long rounds around in Alster House. Even checked out the Fendi hoops, but they didn't have it in my size. So yeah, that's the little damage that I did. Let's unpack it together. They gave lots and lots of freebies, which I'm very happy about. It's always good to test those things when you are at home, like um, in your own environment, on different days, depending on how your skin feels. I happened to mention that I don't have um, my uh, night cream anymore, and she obviously stocked me up with um, uh, testers for magic cream. And this one is a light. Like the magic cream is super famous among celebrities everywhere. It's like award winning um, skincare line um, from Charlotte Tilbury, but it's pretty expensive like 90 euro for it. Cream is quite a splurge, even for me. So <laughs> I thought um, I'm gonna give it a try and see if it really has some special features that makes me feel like that it's worth paying that much. Um, and another one that they gave is Charlotte Tilbury. Hollywood Flawless Filter Superstar Youth Glow Foundation, is it? They call it Flawless Filter. Well, it seems it's something which you top on the foundation if you want an extra coverage. I usually don't go for extra coverage, so that's probably not really relevant for me. Then lastly, I have this um, magic cream in day, night and um, then eye rescue range. So I can try all three of those uh, and then another tester for the night cream separately. So probably she wanted me to try it on several days and decide like that. And another tester over here is for the magic foundation. Yeah, and we have a variety of colors. I usually fall between the first three, but I will have to try that which one fits best on my skin and what I bought <laughs> actually are these three items over here the first one is the color chameleon color morphing eyeshadow pen pencil I really loved this one I am so bad applying the eyeshadows with a brush uh, I know that girls master it and when I watch YouTube video they make it look like so easy but it's definitely not easy for someone clumsy like me this is how the pencil looks itself and even though it's called called pencil you can directly apply it on your eyelid and then smudge it off uh, so that it makes like an eyeshadow look I really loved this color and um, the assistant over there was telling that this one goes best with the brown eyes so yeah I have brown eyes obviously and as I don't own any of Charlotte Tilbury pencil eyeshadows I thought that I'm gonna give it a try and listen to the advice first so that you can see that's how little you have to press and then you have this color which you can directly work in your eyelid. Second thing which I have over here is their Rock and Roll Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil. And I got this in Barbarella, I think that's how it is called, brown. So I thought this stands pretty close with black, but it's still not really fully black. Um, and I also saw last video from Tamara um, where she was like lining her inner eyelid in the corner to elongate her eye. It looked so beautiful. Probably I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to repeat that on myself, but at least I'm gonna give it a try. As you can see, it's pretty decent size. Um, and to show you the color, let me focus on here. This is how easy it applies. I think the only problem that I'm gonna have with this is uh, the smudging because if you're not really trained into how to color your eye inner eyelid um that's not very easy with pencil that that has so much pigment and applies so much of the color so let's see how that goes but it's absolutely beautiful i think the 
both colors together complement each other because this one has as well some sort of a copper uh, lilac -y, um undertone. Lastly, what I have over here is the Glossam Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. Um, I was really curious to try this out and what I loved about this one is that it is in such a like stick so you can directly apply it on your face. I find it's ultra important that the application is as well easy when it comes to the products. So I'm very curious to try this one out. So it has a little twist over here which allows you to close and open uh, the product so that it doesn't leak out constantly. Um, we can directly... Ooh. Okay, now I can see it being out. It doesn't have a lot of glittery part particles, which I dislike usually on such highlighters. I think the Ilia one has it a bit tad too much for my liking. This one definitely reflects on the side. I don't know if you can see how beautiful is that. It applies very easily, blended out in a second. As soon as I started to touch it, um, it was very easy to combine with the rest what I had on my face. I think usually I would have applied a little bit on the nose and under the eyebrows as well but because I'm staying at home I won't just waste the product right now. So I just really bluntly color my eyelid and then use the brush to blend it out. That's for the upper eyelid. I think I'm loving what I see so far. It definitely complements the brown eyes, doesn't it? Now, this is not easy for me. I might have to try a little bit more with the pencil, but that was expected. It is so pigmented as well. That as soon as I started to twitch with my eyes, it just got all messed up. Um, but I think overall I am very, very pleased with the result and it was definitely worth the money. Um, because, yeah, Charlotte Tilbury never do, really disappoints. And another one, obviously, is uh, from Byredo. I just passed by the Byredo stand in Alsta House and it smelled so good. There's so many things that I love, love and want to have from Byredo. Um, their uh, perfume range is spectacular. Sunday's Val de Freak, Rose of No Man's Land, I think that's how it is called if I'm not mistaken with the name. Um, the one without any name. They have so many which I would just love to have. While I was there um, I just felt like getting something uh, for myself but uh, not really perfume. So I talked to the sale associate, she made me try a few smells um, and yeah I could not just leave it there. This is the candle um, by Byredo. Uh, with the name Bibliotheque. So the gallery told me that this is one of their best sellers and I do not wonder why because it smells so calming, so beautiful, like really atmospheric scent, um, to be very honest. I just quickly searched as well the notes, um, what they say. The top note is peach and plum, the heart note is peony and violet. No wonder that I like it. Peony is my most favorite flower. And the base note is leather, patchouli and vanilla. So um, if you could imagine how it smells, that's um, the best I can do to, to describe it. <laughs> Finally managed to get it out. As you can see, the um, packaging is as well just beyond the words. It has this big B embossed on the top and you open it up like that. It burns approximately 80 hours. Oh, I know what I'm gonna be burning tonight. This is so leathery, so beautiful, beautiful scent. And all black, as you can see. Very slick to put on your vanity table or um, next to your 
bed um, when reading when doing anything really relaxing meditating that's gonna be divine she was also kind enough to give me this beautiful matching matches which is gonna look very pretty next to the candle I hope you loved my little unboxing now I think it's time for me to go back and warm up my soup to eat it and watch the new episode of uh, Mandalorian <laughs> um, tonight together with Falva. So I'm gonna say bye. I think this video is already long enough um, for one weekend long and uh, I'm gonna see you in my next one.